really you guys saw that a nice rock bass where there was a bigger one than this though very slow retrieval is what it takes somebody's hooked him in the eye Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fishing with Big D. Just been kind of chilling here, catching up on some of your videos, editing a couple of my videos, getting ready to release some new stuff. Uh, kind of contemplating the 2021 season that's getting ready to come up on us, coming up with some new ideas, looking for some new content to produce for you guys, and kind of reflecting on the 2020 year. So, Last year was a horrendous year. It was rough for all of us, I'm sure. The pandemic come in, it's unlike anything I think I've ever seen or witnessed before. Growing up, I can't remember anything like this. Um, it really took us by surprise and ended up tumbling the economy and stuff. It's just really wild to see how it truly affected everyone. You know, there was a lot of people whose jobs were affected. They either lost their jobs or had tremendous hour cuts. Some people on the other extreme end were working and found themselves working overtime, then double time, and just really got out of hand. I was one of the lucky few. Uh, my job wasn't affected very bad, but we did work a lot of additional hours. Um, when we would normally have a slow season, we ended up truly not having a slow season. Things just kind of stayed straight paced and going forward. I'm still appreciative of that though. Glad that I do have a decent job. But looking over the many situations people found themselves in, it was a very rough year. If you were a parent like myself, you ended up struggling with uh, homeschooling your children. You know, schools were closed and they were doing the virtual learning. Uh, you found yourself having to find childcare and uh, being able to cover your children and taking on the role of being a teacher, you know, on top of that. So, you know, it definitely presented a lot of challenges. I was nowhere near where I wanted to be for my YouTube channel for 2020. Didn't get to produce a lot of videos like I'd hoped. Uh, what videos I did try to produce, you know, I kind of cut them out and deleted them because I just didn't have the good quality that I wanted and I didn't want to produce stuff that didn't feel like would add value to my channel so you know another bad thing was I started the project with my boat it was really accepted and then right there at the end all this happened and ended up not being able to get it registered a lot of issues with the Department of Game with this coronavirus and all the offices being closed except for like the main ones uh, you had the DMV that was shut down I had a horrible time trying to get my trailer tagged and ready to go so hopefully uh, we'll be able to dig back into that project and pick up from there. A lot of you have reached out to me in the comments asking me when my next update videos will be. I do plan on working on that a lot more. It seems like 2021 is going to be a little bit better than last year. We're starting to see a little bit of a better trend towards the positive end in my opinion. So hopefully we'll be able to get back up and running and get a good start to this year. So... With all that being said, I'm really, really focusing on 2021. I'm hoping to do a lot more things for you guys. I'm still shooting to try to produce one to two videos per week. All the way through the summer months, I should be able to produce a lot of good videos, I'm hoping. I plan on taking a lot more fishing trips. I'd love to produce a few more bank fishing videos for you guys out there that love that. Um, Multi-species, shooting to do some trout videos. 
uh, shooting to do more videos with some fans. Hopefully I could get together and do some collaboration videos with some fellow YouTubers that are local to me. Uh, we've been in talks, it's just trying to tie that together so we're off on the same time and days and we can produce those videos for you guys. I really love to do those. It's really fun and exciting to hook up with another channel and try something different. And the responses that we got on the videos with the views and the likes were amazing. You shared a lot of wonderful comments and stuff. And the channel did very, very well in my opinion. Um, we ended up almost at 2,000 subscribers now. And I think our view counts around 250,000. So that's a quarter of a million views. It's awesome. I never thought the channel would grow like it has. It's been a tremendous success in my book, even with all these downfalls for the 2020 season, especially. But overall, really proud with the route it's going. I'm also venturing out to try other platforms to kind of promote the channel. If you're not familiar with it, you can hit me up on Facebook page. We do have a Facebook page now. Uh, it'll be in the little links in the corners up there in the top of the page on YouTube. But it's Fishing with Big D YouTube page. I also have an Instagram account that we've started. There's a lot of great stuff on there. Really, really, really pushing to promote the channel and continue to grow. As far as uh, our hours and watch time, we've been way over that limit a long time ago. It's all thanks due in part to you guys. You are awesome supporters, and I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, another goal that I have for 2021 is to do a lot more fishing videos with my brothers and my family members. I just really want to be family orientated. 2020 kept us all apart and shut in, and it was very miserable. Uh, you know, missed out on a lot of family time and being around the people that I love and enjoy to spend my time with. It really puts things into perspective for you guys when you're going into this new season. You know, I just I want to spend it where I want to be, and that's out there on the water, enjoying it with my family, my loved ones, my daughter, my wife. It's all, you know, really planned out and thought out. Hopefully we get all this done. But got a couple of new projects that I'm getting ready to work on. One of them I'm very excited about. Um, reading through all my comments and they're awesome comments by the way i really appreciate your support the feedback that you give me and the advice and the info and i try my best to read all of those and to reply back and give you a thumbs up that way you know that i've got your comments i do try my best to read every one of them and to give you that positive feedback and take in your constructive feedback as well but I noticed that when I was reading through all these comments, I had a lot of stuff that was coming up multiple times through all these sources of feedback through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and even to the people that I would run out to on the streets. And, you know, and one of the big common questions that I have been asked and been requested to do a video on that I'm planning on doing, hopefully you'll see it here soon, but I'm getting ready to launch a series of videos on how to start your own YouTube channel. So basically, I'm gonna go over the different things on why I started my channel and basically what I was looking to get out of this YouTube channel and the many reasons on why people were looking into the channel, you know. And I just kinda of wanna go over all the topics with you on how the struggles that we face as YouTube fishermen, um, the awesome rewards programs and stuff that go on and that are associated to it, such as sponsors, free gear, you know, stuff like that. I've run into a lot of that cool stuff. Um, we'll also go over how much money YouTube makers make, like myself. I consider myself a small creator. Uh, definitely not a big shot in no way. It has not changed my life whatsoever, but... You know, it has put a different perspective on things, making money off of a hobby that I love and enjoy to do. I'm going to share all that information with you, be very transparent. I'm just going to let you see what it is for it is on my face value, and you can take a look at it, and hopefully it will encourage you to either follow your uh, dreams, goals, hopes, whatever you want to call it, and start your own channel. That would be awesome. Um, I'm going to show you my techniques. I'm going to show you my recording gear. 
I'm just going to cover every aspect of it that I can think. I've taken a bunch of cue cards here and I've wrote down all these questions and stuff. And I'm going to try to produce this series of videos and I'll try to keep them short and sweet and very thoughtful of you guys. That way you can take this same information and if you're planning on starting your own YouTube channel, hopefully this information will help you all the way through the process. And, you know, leave me the feedback if it does. If you're enjoying these videos, please share them. Give them a thumbs up, drop the comments and stuff. If you see stuff that I haven't covered yet and you'd like to see it, drop it in that comment box. That's where I'm going to find it and that's where I'm going to hear from you or hear from you for it. But with that being said, you know, really looking forward to that side of the project and I hope to see you guys there for the ride. Hopefully we'll get all this set up, ready to go, and you'll be able to enjoy this experience with me. Thanks for watching, guys, and I appreciate it.